welcome back to my YouTube channel and guess where we are today? We are in the kitchen. Today we are cooking. Finally food. I am going to be preparing a Sunday course, like a seven, seven color plate. So I'm gonna show you all the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. So it's actually a lot of food, but the good thing is you don't have to cook a lot because a small portion of each since your plate is going to have about seven different colorful food. So these are the ingredients that I'll be using today. So you can see they are a little bit colorful, like more colorful. So we have yellow from the sweet corns. We have orange, the orange from the carrots, some greens from the spinach, and then we have beetroot. So I've already boiled the beetroot from the previous evening. And also here are my ingredients for the potato salad, which I have already also boiled my potato last night. And here is uh, chicken wings that I have marinated the previous night. And then this meat, I literally just got it today because I forgot to buy meat. So I have to quickly go to the shop and get this. And some burros that I also marinated last night. And here is my mushroom for my mushroom sauce for the meat. Sorry, my stove is a little bit dirty because of all the salty water from the boiling potatoes. But yeah. So this was the previous night whereby I washed my chicken with lemon, fresh lemon. So I advise you should um, actually do this part so that you get rid of that um, raw smell, like raw chicken smell. So just need to squeeze a few lemon. If you don't have fresh lemon, you can as well just wash with um, lemon juice, whichever you have. Some people actually like pre-boil their chicken, but I don't like doing that. So yeah. So once you are done washing your chicken, make sure that you pat it dry either with a kitchen cloth or a kitchen towel, paper towel, before you spice it just to get rid of that water because um, since you are going to bright it, you need to get rid of all that water before you start spicing your chicken. So here are all the spices that I'll be using. You can as well use your favorite spice. Um, for me, I'm more into organic spices no chicken spice or cabana spice i'm trying to get rid of that that's why i'm just using salt black pepper a few herbs and my favorite salt and vinegar spice so on top of that i go in with my tomato paste but normally i use tomato sauce some uh, mayonnaise and some garlic just to make it more barbecue -ish kind of giving it like that kind of feel and then i've also added sugar you can as well add chutney or honey or whatever sweetener you are comfortable with i put it like in a ziplock plastic bag and then i put it in the fridge for the whole night so i can use it the next day so it is the following day and before i start cooking i am busy fixing myself something cold to drink because it was a very hot day so i'm just cutting up some lemon put it in the glass add some ice cubes and serve myself some whatever the drink is called i think i can't really pronounce it but like it's a very refreshing drink it's an alcoholic flavored beer because it's like lime and strawberry that i got from checkers so i need to quench the thirst before i can start preparing food so yeah i hope this drink doesn't get me drunk before i even get in the middle of cooking because if i get drunk maybe i'm gonna take an event and continue cooking but also so first thing is to remove my beetroot that i have boiled previous night into a bowl and then i remove the skin and i do the same as well for the potatoes cut them in small cubes so i can prepare to do the potatoes next up i am busy prepping to boil my butternut as well as sweet corn guys cutting sweet corn is not for women at all i think they need to come up with a new machine or kitchen equipment that will allow us to cut sweet corn sweet corn more properly because the knife that you're using it's really not giving in as the sweet corn are busy uh, boiling i went to cut my beetroot this part is not for people with white nails do not attempt if you have white nails at all i have so i have lost so much footage on the other side are my carrots uh, boiling and i am busy chopping up the spinach i removed the white part or the membrane whatever it's 
next up i have prepared my sauce for the potato salad whatever it's called and i use condensed milk my favorite uh mayo some uh custard this is good if you are cooking for lots people some herbs some salt but i advise you use aromat and you're good to go cooking oil a little bit of vinegar I have as well add gherkins as well as cubes of cheese so you can add whatever you would like to add in your salad here are all my food ready for the next step so we have potato salad we have uh, sweet corns we have carrots butternuts spinach as well as beetroot next up my meat is in the oven already and um, i'm busy prepping the sweet corn putting it in foil add butter salt and black pepper and throw it in the oven but they are already as well boiled so i just need to do that step because the butter just get in like much better once you put it in the oven but you don't have to do this part if you don't want to so you can as well just add it in while your meat is also your chicken and bravos is also already cooking so that you finish it fast At this part, I am busy mashing the butternut. I added a few milk, butter, salt, and black pepper, and that was basically it. I think I added um, parsley just to give it a little bit of. Next up is my sweet potato, my favorite salad. So I'm busy just mashing it a little bit. Don't over mash it, or else it become mashed potato and then you add the sauce that you prepared earlier and then you just stir as soon as you are done i like putting it in the deep fridge especially when i'm making it late because now i am behind time and everything else is already ready and i like saving it a little bit chill so i'm putting it in the deep fridge as soon as i'm done next we have the beetroot where you just put mayo or you don't have to put mayo you can literally just save it the way it is but i like putting mayo black pepper salt and a little bit of vinegar you can as well add boiled eggs but i don't know i think i forgot to boil it so here i'm just being a little bit extra adding some uh, cheese on top of my butter balls and then just putting it back in the oven for about five minutes so that the cheese can just melt so i sprinkle a little of parsley and black pepper now i'm putting it in the oven and at the same time i am turning my wing and i'm adding a little bit of sauce that was left in the plastic so that it just doesn't dry up because i like it to be a little bit juicy so i have already spiced up my meat and it has been in the fridge the whole time i was preparing the rest of the food so in the pan i just add butter some cooking oil just to prevent the butter from burning garlic um, few herbs and then I add my meat so um, you, you, you can as well just fry your meat in oil but I like um, uh, frying it into butter and butter instead because it just make it more it smell nice and more moist and soft at the same time but because oil I think oil bends faster then it cooks well the butter helps cook at least slowly so i'm just adding some um butter on top and i think it's okay because i don't want it to be overcooked next up it's mushroom so this part in the same pan where i remove the meat i just added some mushroom some garlic some onions and i'm gonna add fresh milk and sour cream it actually got lost along the way but um, you can as well add white wine to your sauce and fresh lemon or lemon juice at the same time so at this part that's where you add fresh milk and sour cream and then you just stay and you are ready to go do not forget to add your spices as well as, as, as well so you can also add a little bit of water. Next, I am busy placing my carrots. Added butter in a pan. Added the carrot, carrots that are already pre-boiled for like five minutes. Added some lemon and a little bit of sugar, and it was done. 
next um i am busy preparing my creamy spinach salad of the oil frying um, my red onions into a little bit of oil and then i added my uh, uh herbal spices and next up is um fresh milk just to start already making my my sauce and then i add sweet and sour cream and from there i add my spinach and then i keep stirring i have also added um some cheese but if you are not a cheese person you don't you can skip this and we are done with everything and we are ready to serve creamy spinach carrot great grace carrot mashed sweet mashed butternut sweet corns beetroot and potato salad and my favorite favorite is this mushroom sauce for my meat Here is a plate that I served for my guests and they brought my favorite wine. And that was it. Please let me know in the comment if you are going to try this and enjoy. Thank you.